You're listening to WJHS 91.5, The Eagle. Welcome to Media in the Making, a podcast where we look at the evolution of media from 1600 all the way to the present day. In this podcast series, we ask, how have different forms of media evolved and changed culture? Media in the Making, where media and culture are always changing. Now, let's take a step back in time. What even is a videotape recorder? Well... The videotape recorder, also known as the VTR, was a machine that companies used to record shows and stuff. Also, the VTR allowed companies to edit what they have recorded. The VTR was used more since the VTR had better quality, I think. And it saved companies money. It made it easier for companies to film and even made films more interesting to watch. Since filmmakers now had the ability to edit what they had, it allowed sports channels to do replays of what happened making it much more interesting to watch. The VTR was kind of amazing because it was was an electromechanical device that recorded and reproduced an electrical signal that contained audio and video information onto and from a magnetic tape. Now that's complex. The VTR was intended to rebroadcast shows over and over again. The inventor of the VTR was Charles Ginsburg. Charles had a bachelor's degree and worked as a studio and transmitter engineer at a San Francisco area radio station. He was there for a while until he received a call from Alexander M. Ponyatov, who was the founder of the Ampex Corporation in Redwood City, California. Charles must have been shocked. Alexander believed that Ginsburg could help him with an important project. After that, Ginsburg started to work for Ampex which then gave him a chance to lead the team that developed the very first broadcast quality videotape recorder. Tape recording before the VTR was used to record very high frequency signals that were needed for television. These ones were pushed to a very high limit, running the tapes at very high speed and able to achieve high frequency response. Ginsburg then came up with the idea of a better recorder that ran the tape much slower because the recording head spun fast and that allowed the new VTR to have high frequency response. I don't even know how going slower to get higher frequencies made any sense, but it worked out for them. The Ampex VRX 1000 was then made, but they ended up changing the name to the Mark V because why not? The Mark V was a VTR that was created in 1956 and it sold for $50,000. Again, it was a great machine because you can edit what you recorded. They replaced the live broadcast for the Mark V because they again can edit what they have. Also because they could broadcast a certain show repeatedly. That's all I have to share. I hope you learned a lot about the videotape recorder. Media in the Making is brought to you by WJ. HS 91.5 and the Eagle Tech Academy media classes. Media in the making teaching you about the evolution of media throughout history and its effects on culture. For more from the students, more casting series are on the 91.5 website wjhs91.5.org. Thank you for joining us.